in this video we will learn how to write down a program to print the missing numbers in a fibonacci series first of all let us understand what a fibonacci series is in a fibonacci series the first term is 0 and the second term is 1 these two terms are fixed now to calculate the third onward terms in the fibonacci series we apply the formula that the nth term in the Fibonacci series is basically the sum of n minus first term and n minus second term. So it means that the third term is the sum of first and second term. So 0 plus 1, we get the 1. Now, if we want to calculate the fourth term, that is the sum of second and third term, and we get 2. If we want to calculate the next term, that is the sum of 1 and 2, and it is 3, and so on. In this way, we calculate the terms in a Fibonacci series. My program is to print the missing numbers in a Fibonacci series. It means that if I have been given a Fibonacci series like in this 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, the missing numbers will be 4, you see, after 3, direct 5 is coming, so 4 is missing. After 5, 8 is coming, so 6 and 7 are missing. After 8, 13 is coming, so it means 9, 10, 11 and 12 are the missing numbers. So my out, the output of my program will be 4, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Let us start writing the program. We will write down the program in C++. This is the header file included. The standard structure of my C++ program. Now what we will do, first of all, we will write down the code to print the terms of the Fibonacci series. And after that, we will extend our program to print the missing numbers in the Fibonacci series. So for that, we are going to ask from the user how many number of terms of the Fibonacci series are to be considered or to be printed. So for that, this is the message we are putting on the command prompt, enter the number of terms of Fibonacci series. And we are going to save this in the variable n. Let me declare the variable n. Now see, if n is 1. It means that if I have to print only one term, so it's fixed, that is 0. If n is 2, it means that we have to print the two terms in the Fibonacci series. So it is again fixed, that is 0 and 1. So for that, I'm going to write down the code. If n is equal to 1, so simply I will print 0 and will exit from the program. If n is 2, so in that case, I will print 0 and 1. And will exit from. But 
if n is greater than 2, it means 3, 4, 5, like this. So in that case, we have to apply the formula of Fibonacci series to calculate the third onward tops. So I am taking a variable count, which is telling me how many terms of the Fibonacci series have already been calculated, have already been printed. So two terms I have already printed and I'm going to print those. How? Basically, I will take two variables, previous and current. These two variables are going to help me to calculate the next coming terms. So, we have printed 0 and 1, the first two terms, and count is now true that we have got the two terms of the Fibonacci series printed. We will apply loop while count is less than n. It means that during the program execution, count is basically telling me the number of terms or the Fibonacci series which have already been printed or which have already been calculated. Till the number of terms are less than n, we have to devise the new terms. We have to calculate the new terms, successive terms. The moment it becomes equal to n, it means that all the n terms of the Fibonacci series have been printed and we will stop. Okay, so that is why the condition is while count is less than n. And after every step, what we need to do, after every iteration, we have to increase the count variable. Now, what my new term is going to be, so the next term is the sum of previous two terms. Current is the term which we have just calculated and previous is one before that. So next term is current plus previous. You understand it in this way. Like we have calculated the two terms by default and one is my current which has just been found and zero is previous before that. So my next term is sum of current and previous. So 0 plus 1, it becomes 1. Okay. Now what we, we want, we want that during the next iteration, this 1 should become the current and this current should become the previous so that the next term is sum of again current plus previous and becomes 2. So what we have to do here, We have to first of all, let me print this term, which we have just found. And now what I'm going to do, previous is now, which earlier was current. Okay, this is Now, and the current is the new term which you have just found. And you see that if we apply this, after this loop has been executed successfully, we will be able to print the number of terms of the Fibonacci number. Uh, the terms of Fibonacci series up to the given number of terms. But the question is, 
my program is that we have to print the missing numbers in the program in the fibonacci series so for that what i'm going to do it's very easy you have to what what the missing numbers are the missing numbers are those who are between this and this it is like this if you see uh, 1 plus 2 we have calculated as 3 and 2 plus 3 we have calculated as 5 and once we have calculated 5 so at that moment this is now the current and this is previous okay and what the missing numbers are missing numbers are which are between this like between 1 and 1 there is no missing number between 1 and 2 there is no missing number between 2 and 3 there is no missing number but between 3 and 5 there is a missing number basically missing numbers are the numbers from p plus 1 to c minus 1 so it is like here 4 is the missing number now if further i calculate so 3 5 further i calculate it becomes 8 and as soon as i calculate 8 so this becomes current and this becomes previous and the missing numbers are from previous plus 1 to current minus 1. So that is basically 6 and 7. So what we have to do? We have to apply a loop. So the loop is previous plus 1 and less than current i plus plus. So these are from previous plus 1 to current are the current minus 1 are the missing numbers. So let me first of all declare all the variables here. We have taken so many variables. So let me declare those first of all. So we have taken count. We have taken previous current next term now and of course one i that is the use for the count as a counter for the loop i'm going to declare an array of size like 1000 okay and i'm taking one another variable to be used as an index to this array. And what is the purpose of this array is? Purpose of this array is that I'm going to save all the missing numbers in this array so that at the end I can print this. Okay, missing term. Missing term is acting as an index to this array in which I'm storing the missing numbers so that is why this is initialized to zero. So as soon as I find a missing number, I'm just saving that in the array. And after that, I'm increasing this by one. So you see that after calculating the new term of the Fibonacci series, the missing numbers are saved in this array and once this loop is executed successfully at the end of the loop the array is going to contain all the missing numbers so i'm going to print this missing terms applying a loop
and printing the elements of the array from 0 to missing term minus 1. Okay. Because missing term is basically telling me the index of the array where I have to store the next missing number. Okay. And once the loop is over, so that is why we are applying from I less zero to less than missing term. The values are stored in the array from the index zero to missing term minus one. Okay. So let us execute this program. Uh, this is the remaining. So I'm printing, uh, I've got printed the enter the number of terms of Fibonacci series, let us say seven. So you see that 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. This is my Fibonacci series and the missing terms are 4, 6, and 7. Let us see one more execution for the different number of terms. Enter the number of terms of the Fibonacci series, let us say 10. So you see that this is my Fibonacci series. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21 and 34. And the missing terms are 4, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 and so on. Okay. Between 21 and 34, you see that 22 to 33 got printed. And between 13 and 21, you see that 14 to 20 got printed and so on. Okay. So this is how to write down the program to print missing numbers in a Fibonacci series.